Hey, Coach, how are you, sir? Well, not real good. Yeah. Uh, what we'll do, Coach, is we'll uh, let you uh, open up with a couple comments, and then we'll go right to Brian Bailey after that, okay? Sure. Um, you know, I was very disappointed in the loss. Uh, they were exactly the team that I thought they were. You know, hats off to them. They've done a great job building that program. You know, they look like a very experienced group, uh, very good up front on both sides of the football. Uh, obviously, we did not uh, handle that uh, atmosphere and them very well in the first half and got ourselves in a pretty big hole. Um, appreciate the way the kids fought back. And, you know, we at least got ourselves back in the game somewhat and gave ourselves a chance, uh, you know, maybe to have a, have, a, have a shot there at the end and just, uh, you know, a couple of mistakes there in the second half, fourth quarter that, uh, you know, just took our chances away. So, um, obviously, we got to do a better job of preparing the group for, uh, you know, the start of the football game. Uh, you know, just, you know, after the pick six, which is as good a start as you can ask for, uh, we did not uh, handle everything very well. Coach, how disappointing was it not to be able to run the football and not be able to really protect Holton like you really want to? Well, I mean, it's, you're not going to be very good, good on offense if you can't do those two things. Can you take us through the fake field goal? What did you guys see as far as that opening up? Because it really was a spark in the second half. Yeah, I mean, it was there in the first half. So, uh, you know, we we really looked at it the last uh, – the field goal before uh, to make sure that, uh, that the look was there. And, you know, I just didn't know if – you know, Snead does hold for us, but I didn't, I didn't know if they would catch him coming on the field. Uh, they didn't, and just a great play by him. Your defense in the second half, much improved? Do you think they really came around in the second half? Well, I mean, I think that, you know, you saw just, you know, very good offensive line, you know, did a great job in the first half of picking up some of our pressures and giving – giving uh, the quarterback some time and giving the running back some holes. And I thought that the second half, you know, we handled the speed of their offensive line better, fit things better. Um, you know, a couple plays, uh, you know, we're just, just there to make the play and, and couldn't quite make the play. But for the most part, the second half played uh, played fairly decent defensively. Okay, we'll now open it up to uh, questions for everybody else. Coach Houston, at this point, what would you say is the identity of this year's football team? Well, I mean, that's, that's the big question right now. I mean, uh, you know, you, you thought you had, you know, a few things coming into the season. Obviously, what you do on the field shows your true identity. I know what I want it to be. I know what, you know, teams I have coached in the past are, and, and we certainly are not that yet. Um, I think that, uh, you know, hopefully we can use every experience to improve. And, you know, it's every every experience for some of these guys is their first. And so, uh, you know, hopefully they can learn from that and be better the next time. Coach, it didn't look like it was going to be much of a ball game there in the second half. All of a sudden, you made a ball game out of it. Um, you've got to take some positives out of that aspect of it, at least. It looked like there was a, a possibility of even maybe getting the win there at the end. But uh, what do you take out of this this whole affair? Well, I mean, it's just, you know, you felt like you got in such a big hole there in the first half. It just makes it really, really tough. And certainly, you know, we made a couple of special teams play there in the second half and got us back in the ball game, played, played well defensively. But, uh, you know, we've got – we just got to be better. We've got to be better coaches. We've got to be better you know, players. We've got to execute better. Uh, we've just got to – we've got to push ourselves to continue to improve. Coach, no offensive touchdowns today and obviously three non-offensive touchdowns. Just how disappointing is that when – Really, you kind of expected the offense early in the season to maybe help carry the, the defense. Yeah, it's very disappointing. You know, certainly we all have higher expectations uh, for how we perform on the field. And uh, disappointing we didn't get that output. You know, certainly would have made a huge difference in the ball game. Uh, you know, certainly excited to get two special team scores uh, and to get a defensive score. So uh, we just got to, we got to improve on that side of the football. Uh, we got to improve everywhere. But uh, you know, we obviously got to improve on that side of the football this week. When you look at the start, Coach, it, last week you, you had the touchdown drive off the kickoff. Today you scored the first play. Is it frustrating when you, you weren't able to, to build on that and the other team kind of punched right back and kind of took momentum so quickly? Yeah. I mean, it's – you know, usually if you can grab the momentum, uh, it gives you a tremendous uh, advantage at the beginning of the ball game. 
Uh, we wanted to start fast. We did. You know, great play by Warren. Uh, I thought I, 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 I'm really proud of that kid. Uh, you know, he's he's matured so much and improved so much since I got here, and just really played played his tail off today. And um, but you know, to follow that up, you know, just really disappointed we couldn't get get anything built on top of that, get anything going, um, and really you know put ourselves in a big hole there early. Coach Deontay was out today, but was that health related? Yes. And are you surprised at just how much the O line has struggled early in the year? I know you guys said you felt you would be better up front. Has that been a surprise at all? Yeah, I mean it's you know, it's it's tough today. I mean, we still got, you know, Noah and Deontay out as two of our more experienced guys. Uh, have some new guys in there, um, have some guys playing, you know, well, but also, you know, some guys making some mistakes. Um, but you know, we've got to get that corrected and we got to play better up front. You know, it all starts offensively right there. Going on that, what is that dynamic like, you think, with Holton? It seems like just the fact that he's scrambling and trying to do a lot, you know, moving around the in the, the pocket, uh, does that have an effect, obviously, on his play at times, you think? Well, sure. I mean, it's, you know, in, in my opinion, the, the way you have, you know, give your quarterback his best opportunities is by being able to run the football effectively and thus, and thus protect him. Uh, you know, in the passing game, and you know, we're not doing either one very well. Um, and then, you know, on, on his back, he's got to make better decisions. You know, he's he's making some decisions that are really, you know, putting us in some tough situations. So we just, we've got to, we've got to coach better and we've got to play better on that side of the football, definitely. Coach, the interception McMillan had, they ruled it, it wasn't a touchback. What was the explanation there? They said his momentum carried him into the end zone which is most likely the correct call. Coach. Um, great, great teaching moment for Jaquan right there that, you know, he does need to try to bring it out, you know, if, it, if his momentum carries him in. So we'll, we'll get that corrected tomorrow. Coach, it looked like on the pick six by Sable that you had a blitz coming from that side of the field and maybe rushed him a little bit. Yeah, we did. You know, we wanted to try to get his face early. Uh, try to rattle him as much as we could, and, you know, worked out on the first play before he came back and played an excellent ball game. He's, he's, you know, we, we expected him to be a good player. I mean, it's, he's a really talented young man. How helpful is it to have a Jake Verity, you know, can go out there and get points on the board for you? Well, certainly I've said many times, it's good to have Jake. Any other questions, Any other questions for coach? I got a question. Last one. Coach, you've experienced this virtually no fans from a home standpoint and now in a road game and kind of contrast the two, if you would. As far as the atmosphere here and the atmosphere at home? Yes, sir. Well, you know, at least we did have a few fans here. And, uh, you know, we had several ECU fans on our side and just really appreciate them and being here to support the kids and, uh, you know, be glad we have more of them to support them. Uh, you know, hopefully the next time that, uh, you know, we're at home, we'll be able to have, you know, a pretty good contingency. Okay. Okay. Thank you, coach. Thanks. Okay, everybody, players will be here in just a second. Okay. Coach Mark Houston.